Um, I'm gonna give y'all a quick little walk around. But basically, I'm gonna be. Oh. Playmakers. Playmakers. Okay. Out of my wrist, kind of just spin it. Man at the coop, mine with no tennis. Chop out the top, hit it in it. I got some. What's up, y'all? Trey B. Dipping in the building. You know what time it is. So, um, yeah. You guys, uh, saw the title of the video. And, um, I got all my tools. I got, I rented a U-Haul truck, pickup truck, and let's get right into it, man. So, I found this prelude, man. I guess you can call it like a barnyard type find. Um, I went and looked at it. I talked to the owner. I'll give you the backstory on it. But uh, essentially, the only thing really good on it is the motor. It has an H22. It is an automatic. So the trans, I will be pulling the trans with it, but it, I won't be using the trans, obviously. But um, the joint's in really good shape, and I don't know how many miles are on it exactly, but the motor is solid. Um, said it was running before he parked it. So I'm going to go pick it up, man. You never know when you may need a, a H22, spare motor, whatever have you. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. All right, so my day ones know I usually use my uncle's truck but his truck is being used at the moment so i couldn't beat that 1995 you know what i'm saying so i got my engine hoist my jack jack stands and all my tools that i'm gonna need so yeah let's get to it man time to go get me a motor so there we have it fellas I think this one is a 95 Honda Prelude. I think it's a 95. Oh, Lord, there's spider webs everywhere, baby. We in the country. Um, I'm gonna give y'all a quick little walk around. But basically, I'm gonna be, oh, almost broke my ankle. I'm gonna be uh, basically just pulling the motor from this thing, man. I was gonna take, I bought the whole car, but I'm only gonna take the motor. I mean, you can see why. It was sitting in this under this tree. Um, it looks like the passenger side just got demolished. So I'll probably take like the tail lights, maybe some a few things here and there. But for the most part, I'm just here for the motor. So let's pop this hood and see what we got. All right, so got the hood off, and uh, you can see this car has been sitting for I think he said. <laughs> close to like eight years um for this to be sitting for eight years bro even the valve cover itself looks pretty good it's in pretty good shape so um like i said he did say it was running whenever he first he actually there's a backstory behind this i'll get into the backstory um but essentially i'm gonna see how much footage i can get i'm gonna set the camera up probably do like a little time lapse of me pulling it i may not get everything but i'll get some of it so. Alright, so basically this is the next day. Unfortunately, it started getting too dark to record and plus I was just trying to get it done. But as you can see, that joint is snatched, my guy. Um, but yeah, I got the motor out yesterday and I actually took it to my shop. So unfortunately, I don't have any footage of that. But I came back because I have to get my jack stands. <laughs> I was too dark yesterday to put the wheels back on, so I kind of got to put the suspension somewhat back together, lift the car back up, and get my jack stands, and then we're gonna head to the shop and I'll show you guys the motor. All right, so we back at the shop. You know what I'm saying? You know I'm 2020 with it. Biometric scanner. Uh oh. There we go. Yes, sir. There you have it. There goes the motor. I know it's, it's a red top, but it's not a... I, actually, I got to check. I don't think... Uh, it is just a 22 a So it's not a Euro R. Plus, you could tell the Euro R because of the... Uh, you can tell because the Euro R man, uh, in, the Euro R intake manifold. And it's definitely like not a Euro R manifold. But yeah, so 
I got the motor, man. I'm gonna do, not in this video, but in the coming videos, I'm gonna do a compression test. Um, that is the automatic trans, which is way heavier than the manual trans, if you didn't know. I didn't know, so I had to push this joint around. But um, long story short, that's it, man. Got the motor. So, on to the next. Uh, yeah, so, you guys are probably wondering, why would I just pick up a motor randomly? Number one, it was a good deal, even considering the price I got it for, pretty good deal. Um, but, nonetheless, there was a reason why I did get the motor. So, take a walk outside with your boy. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, we ate swapping the Audi, baby. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm just playing. We're gonna, we're gonna take a trip. Oh, oh, what's that? That, my guy, is another Honda Prelude. You know what I'm saying? Give y'all a quick little walk around. So, I'm gonna give you guys a quick little backstory while I'm walking around. The short version is, me and my boy Tevin went down to Goochland, Virginia, <laughs> and picked up this bad boy. Um, it didn't have a motor in it, so it, it never came with a motor or trans, but um, it had very little rust, man, very little rust. It was actually in really good shape. Um, since I've gotten it, I did have the body work done. Um, so you can see where the little bit of rust that it did have, everything's fixed now. So we're pretty much golden, man. It still needs a little bit of wet sand before it gets that flex, you know what I'm saying? But long story short, we picked it up, brought it up here. Originally, it was supposed to be his shell, um, but uh, he just had a kid. So obviously his time was very limited. So I bought it from him and yeah, we're gonna make this thing happen. I think this is a 96, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's a 96, I left the key inside, but uh, tan interior, I'm not 100% sure I'm keeping the tan, but um, yeah, man, really clean. So look forward to the build moving forward. So for those of you who are newly subscribed, um, even my day one subscribers never actually seen me build my Prelude from, um, well, in a sense, you guys have been along for a part of the journey, but from the very beginning, like the car was already boosted. And I think by the time I started my channel, all I was really doing was painting it, is really, or flexing it rather. So um, I really do, want to take my time and build this and really kind of document it from literally from this point forward um it will be going turbo h22 turbo um so you guys are going to be not only along for the ride but you guys are also going to be learning how to turbo your prelude along the way so very excited man since i didn't get a chance to document everything from the build before i'm i'm really excited to document it from start to finish with you guys um, so yeah, that's why I picked up the motor, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed the surprise. If you made it to the end, those of you who didn't make it to the end, they're gonna have to find out the hard way. But those of you who stuck around and watched the whole video, appreciate you, you know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Hit that like button, comment, and, uh, you see that right there? Yeah, that's the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Okay. Out of my wrist, kind of been spinning. Man at the coupe, mine with no tennis. Chop out the top, hit it in the limit. I got some.